first, our top story at six, the shutdown of an encampment near the Grover Beach train station has sent more than 30 homeless men and women to the streets. Tonight, the Grover Beach City Council will discuss declaring a shelter crisis. KCOY 12's Amanda Valdez is live in Grover Beach to explain what that means for the homeless. Scott, for months, this has been a topic of discussion for the city council here. Tonight, they will be talking about voting to open up more warming centers here in the community, more long-term solution, solutions like shelters. We spoke to one Vietnam veteran who is currently homeless. He says he wants to be treated just like a person, whether he has a home or not. Yeah. Just because you're living in a house or you don't, they classify you as good or bad people. This Vietnam veteran did not want his face to be shown on camera. He goes by the name of Canada and has been homeless for more than two years. It's really hard to even stay dry. If you have any health issues, well, that's just too bad, you know. He is one of dozens of homeless people from Grover Beach staying at the North Beach campgrounds in Pismo Beach. This is where he's been sleeping for the last 14 days with his wife and dog. I'm the same human being that I was when I lived in a house, you know. I'm not that bad of a guy. On Monday night, the Grover Beach City Council will discuss what to do. On their agenda is to vote for the declaration of a shelter crisis. That would open up warming centers for homeless and in the long run facilities that would be used as shelters. I think there is a need for uh, housing. And there's definite need for housing. Um, and shelters is something, warming centers is something that is just a part of that. D Torres has been working with homeless people to find them housing. I think that it's I think it's definitely helpful. I think it's a first step. You have to start somewhere. And although warming centers provide a solution, she says they are only short term and the bigger problem is the lack of affordable housing. You know, I'm trying to bridge the communities together, the homeless community and basically everybody else. Right now there is only one warming center for people to go to just outside of Grover Beach. City leaders say for the most part it's only at 50% capacity. Canada says even if the city council votes yes on Monday night, this short-term solution won't bring the much-needed help that homeless people need. I don't think it's enough, you know. And if tonight's vote is a yes, the declaration would last until mid-April. The city manager tells us most likely it's going to be a no because the current warming center here in the community is not being used to its full potential. He says there might be other long-term solutions to help homeless people here in the community, but that's something that they'll have to discuss. In Grover Beach, Amanda Valdez, KCOY 12, Central Coast News. Okay, Amanda, thank you.